many of us, we end our prayers with in the name of Jesus. Oftentimes we say or declare something in the name of Jesus. But what does it mean in the name of Jesus? What exactly does that mean? Well, one thing when we pray, even though it's become kind of a habit, a bit of a tradition, uh, we're really not actually told to pray in the name of Jesus, meaning verbatim have that tagline at the very end. Why? Well, one reason we can point to that is when we look at the Bible and we hear prayers after that or mentioning of prayers after that, they don't subsequently end with in the name of Jesus. So the question is, what does he mean when Jesus say, pray in the name of Jesus? What does that absolutely mean? Because it's important. I think what's happened, though, is that many people think that there is some sort of power just by verbally stating the name. In other words, if I say anything and then add in verbatim in the name of Jesus or in the name of the Lord or anything like that, that that has some sort of guarantee that it will come to pass. That's not the case. As a matter of fact, one place that we can look and see that this is not true is from the seven sons of Siva. When we look at this passage in Acts 19, we see that these seven sons wanted to attempt to speak the name of Jesus over a particular um, demon-filled man. It says, but also some of the Jewish exorcists who went out from the place to place attempted to name over those who had evil spirits the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, I adjure you by the name, by Jesus whom Paul preaches. Now, were they saying this as, as a verbatim in the name of Jesus, or is it saying that they were just trying to simply uh, use this upon or in the name of Jesus uh, in the fashion they came? Well, we're going to talk about that in a second, but here, whichever way, it didn't work. And so simply by saying just in the name, the words, the phrase, there is no real power in that if you are not coming in the spirit or in the mindset or upon the ability. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, as a matter of fact, in Acts 4, we're going to see that the, they were uh, forbidden by the Jews, the leaders, to not speak in the name of Jesus again. Now, were they saying not to ever say the name Jesus no, their point was, we don't want you informing people about what he's done. And that's where we want to start off with. The Bible says in John 14, 13, whatever you ask in my name, that I will do so that the father may be glorified in the son. Well, what does it mean by ask in my name? Well, look to the right. We see this phrase, an to on a This ain means, if you look at the bottom, it says in with, by, or to. So that kind of gives us a little bit of understanding, something to start off working with with what does it actually mean in the name of Jesus. As a matter of fact, famous passage Acts 2.38 says that if you baptize, baptize in the name of Jesus. Here we see a different word that's used here, epe to onomati. And this epe means upon or over or on. It has the exact same understanding, however, as the word in. So in to onomati, epe onoma, epe to onomati. So those are basically saying how or in what fashion or what manner we are supposed to use this name. By the way, when we say the name, name does not always convey nomenclature. In other words, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to say the person's name verbatim that is speaking of the person's actual name, like Bob, John, or in this case, Jesus. No, what Onoma also refers to is a person's reputation. So when we're speaking in the name of Jesus, what we're saying is not uh, based upon the person's nomenclature, but based on the person's reputation, not just who the person is, but what the person is or what the person is doing. Or in this case, not just who, not just the name Jesus, but who is Jesus, what Jesus did, what was Jesus doing? That's the whole point. And so when we say in the name of Jesus, it literally means according to or with or in or on the basis of what Jesus is doing, his reputation. That's what the name means. So upon what Jesus is doing or in the will of what Jesus is doing. So when we go to 1 John 5, 14, it says, this is the confidence that we have before him that if we ask anything according to his will. Now, this is the same way that was spoken of earlier in John that if we ask in his name. Now, yes, he's speaking to the disciples, but does this also apply to us? Probably so. And so in his name, also refers to according to his will. So when we ask something simply just saying in the name of Jesus, that's not necessarily the point. The point is according to, according to his will. As a matter of fact, we're told in the Old Testament uh, about Jesus' coming. Uh, the Bible tells us, God tells us 
that he's going to send this angel, this messenger, and he says certain things that makes us, helps us to understand what is meant by in the name. He says, verse 20, chapter 23, verse 20, behold, I'm going to send an angel before you to guard you along the way and to bring you into the place which I prepared. So obviously he's speaking about the Lord bringing the children of Israel. He says, be on guard before him and obey his voice. Do not be rebellious towards him for he will not pardon your transgression. So here we can see the person he's speaking of is Jesus. Only he can pardon our transgressions since my name is in him. And when we look over here, the, the name in him is the Hebrew word uh, Shemi, which is my name. And it's in him. As a matter of fact, another place where we can look at this is uh, in Deuteronomy 18, 19. Now he's speaking about prophets who come and speak in the name of the Lord or in the name of God. And he says, my words, which he shall speak in my name, I myself will require of him. So what does it mean by in my name? Well, here we see the same word that's used here, uh, Shemi, but before that we have big, Bishemi, which is in or with, if you look at the bottom right below my shirt, in or with the name of the Lord or the name of God, the name of the Lord, the name of God, or the name of Jesus, they all convey the same thing. So when we say in the name of Jesus, we're not just using it as some magic phrase, we're saying upon the basis of what he's done, according to the will, but it also presupposes, it also mandates, and it also necessitates that the person that's saying it must also be in the will, doing things upon the basis with, according to what Jesus has done. And so therefore, if you were outside the will, if you were saying things or doing things that are contrary to scriptures, contrary to the will of God, simply saying it would not matter. But if you are doing things, that are in line with what God is doing, and it is in the name of Jesus, those things will come to pass. Why? Because it's already in the will of God, according to what he's already doing. Amen.